the series and the last part is about the stars and the galaxies. As I said, when you look up into the sky, you find two star, uh, types of stars, young and old. Uh, stars could be the ones which uh, we have been able to find uh, the youngest star is just 30 years old but it could be zero years also the stars would be uh, forming even now as we uh, speak because stars have been forming uh, whether it is uh, contemporary universe or ancient universe life started like that but when we look up into uh, the night sky the 200 billion galaxies that we see, wherever we see, 99.9999% of all those galaxies are old galaxies. They are to the extent of, you know, generally 12 billion galaxies, uh, 12 billion years old, 12.5 billion years old. You would not find a galaxy uh, forming now. There is uh, stellar mass outside. So why is it that you see stars forming now, but you don't see galaxies forming in the contemporary universe whatever happened had to happen in the early universe and that's it and those galaxies have been there for all these years and there is no possibility of a new galaxy forming but why this would suggest that the conditions were conducive only in ancient universe for galaxy formation and they are not conducive in the present formation why not uh, as we had said that formation of the galaxy in alternate model of uh, universe which is suggested by Manthan it all starts with ionization and you have to have uh, 10,000 Kelvin we also said that okay the 10,000 Kelvin uh, was if the compressed universe was able to have 10,000 Kelvin but we had supernovae also you had 10,000 Kelvin even in the contemporary universe so why can't galaxies form but try and understand the supernova which is happening it is just one star it can possibly generate effect or the pressure to 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 the extent of forming some more stars nearby but for you and this would be a local ionization this ionization is limited to only local form for you to cook a galaxy in the contemporary universe you have to have that ionization in the galactic scale and that is missing and that is why you don't see galaxies forming uh, there is a rider to it there have been some galaxies to be precise 24 just 24 of them out of 200 billion just 24 in the sense you start counting now uh, when you reach 10 billion you will find one galaxy which is young galaxy as young as uh, half a billion years old how does that happen but these galaxies are just dwarf irregular galaxies these are not the kind of galaxies that you see here just you know a few stars and these young galaxies are to the extent of you have this uh, virgin hydrogen gas in the sense generally whatever the gas which was there in the early universe everything uh, got formed in one way or the uh, to different galaxies but since the universe was expanding if at all a pocket of gas hydrogen uh, gas got missed from this uh, formation of the early uh, the galaxies in the early universe that gas would remain as it is virgin gas so those are the kind of pockets very few of them as i said 99.9999 percent is all old galaxies just few 24 of them are formed because of those virgin hydrogen gas which got missed in the early universe in forming a galaxy but there were conditions which happened during uh, the present you know, uh, the contemporary universe mostly uh, local clusters and they were in a position wherein the local clusters you know the gas could move towards the galaxies and the supernova happened and those uh, dwarf galaxies were formed but otherwise when you look up in the sky all you see is old galaxies uh, that is it for today thank you for uh, watching